Hey guys, Chris McFoo here. Welcome to a new video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to record your Android screen. So basically, all you do is just head over to the um, App Store or Marketplace and search for Screen Recorder. Sorry, search for Screen Recorder. Um, and click on the first one, which says Screencast Video Recorder Demo, and you click Install. So once you install it, just hit Open, and it will open into your uh, program, which is the Screen Recorder. Alright, so a couple of cool things about the Screen Recorder. It basically records your screen pretty well, <coughs> which is which, of course, will explain its name. Um, okay, so it, it records your screen, it takes screenshots, and it allows you to benchmark your uh, the frames per second on your device, which is basically uh, over here on this tab. All right, so basically, this tab is to benchmark, this tab is to start your recording, and this tab is to see your gallery and any other stuff that you have recorded so far. So I've recorded two videos so far, and yeah. All right, next, let's jump over to the last tab over here, which is settings. I'll just go through this quickly, because most of it's pretty self-explanatory. Number one, we have um, video resolution over here. Uh, either normal, or you can set it to high. Now, I would recommend I would recommend setting it to high because normal is really quite blur. But um, it might be it may, if it's high in your video uh, and your device can't take it, uh, it might get laggy and stuff. Next, video orientation. Uh, usually, I would go with no orientation, and then I would set it to portrait like that, and then go over here and I would lock my screen so that this would prevent it from moving around or uh, looking really, really weird. Next, frames per second on the wall recording, I would go with 25 or 30 because I found those are two of the most unleggy, if there's such a word, and uh, one of the smoothest, I guess, in a sense. So 25 or 30, I'll just go with 25 for this time. Next, um, time lapse. Okay, time, -lapse, time lapse is basically something, for example, uh, something pretty cool. For example, if you're doing a speed drawing video on your Android or something, and it's, it took you 30 minutes, you can actually set time lapse to maybe times 10, so that instead of 30 minutes, the video becomes 3 minutes, which would, of course, that's why it's called a speed drawing. Yeah, but for normal recordings, you want to set it to 1%, one time, so that it's at a normal speed, and your video and your video won't be like, that kind of thing. Alright, next, touch pointer. Now, uh, this is just something cute, for example, you know, if you're touching the screen, like I am right now, uh, pointer will come out when you're recording, so I'm just going to go with something cute, like a gingerbread. Oh, yeah. Next, default file name over here, which is pretty self-explanatory. Basically, what your, what your file name will usually be. So, for example, uh, if it's, set, it's currently set to video by default, like I don't know if you can see it, oh, that video, it would be video, zero, uh, video date and 001, right? Next, record audio over here. You can check the box if you want audio. If you don't want audio, it's fine. Uh, minimize recording. Minimize the program while recording. Depends on how you want it. And I would select that because then it automatically close by itself when you start recording. But of course, it's only available in the paid version. All right, never mind. And then screenshot settings. Uh, what file format you want? I set mine to PNG and the name of course shot zero zero one shot zero zero two self explanatory again. All right, the rest of it are pretty um normal. I guess that's really not my other interesting settings I can go through. So let's jump right to it and let's start recording. Now this is the demo version, which as you can see just now it said the features only allowed in paid version. Uh, basically, the demo version has some limitations like that feature, and also it can only record for 30 seconds as compared to the paid version, which can allow you to record forever and ever. However, the paid version is $5.02, and, and if you can't spend that kind of money, 30 seconds is a pretty short time, so go figure. Anyway, so right, just click this button, press to start recording, and as you can see, it's a limited demo version, blah 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 blah, no thanks. Alright, so as you can see, it's, it comes out on your screen, uh, in your notifications bar, screencast, tap to end recording. So we don't have 30 seconds, so we better start rolling. So press the home button and you can just go around in your Android screen and look around and stuff and tell your video, uh, tell your viewers what you want to show them in your Android, blah, 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 blah. Alright, so once 30 seconds up, you'll see this file save video April 30, blah, 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 2, mp 4 Now to view it, just go back to your screencast app over here and go to your gallery and you'll see all your videos are here. So this, this was one I recorded earlier on and this is our latest one. Alright, so thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have fun recording your own videos on your Android for 30 seconds or pay $5.02 and record forever and ever and ever. And in order for you guys to get a good glimpse of how good or how bad this recorder is and whether you guys want to consider buying it, um, there's a link here, I guess. Uh, there'll be a little box here. You just click on it and you go to another video in which I show you guys, which I do a test run of the, the different, different um, stuff that I play around with. is record for example, I'm going to test out a game and stuff. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.